You are watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Four Gates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Throughout the week of preparing for these guys, but tip my cap to those guys. They came ready to go. They were just a better team today. Um, you know, obviously not great feeling being on the, this side of things. Haven't had to do it a lot recently, but uh, you know, just I know the group we have, and uh, there's a lot left to play for. Got a whole season ahead of us. Wouldn't trade this group for the world. Um, but tip our cap to those guys. They did a great job. Two young guys that were ready to play. Uh, what, uh, Jeff, how would you characterize the performance of your short 60 midfielders today? I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you give up 26 shots. You got 19 shots given up through three quarters. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I think those guys are making progress. Um, I think we showed our youth a little bit at times. Um, you know, we won a bunch of face-offs, but I didn't feel like we always, you know, capitalized that and turned that into opportunities. I think we had a couple 50-50 ground balls uh, that they picked up and eventually that led to goals for them. Um, so I think that's an area where we need to get a better. Um, and those guys just need to keep growing up. Um, at times, I think we did well. Um, at times, again, we had some teachable moments, but uh, I know that our guys will come back and, and they'll be very motivated to get better, and that's all we can do. So, Coach, uh, a couple minutes into the fourth quarter, you moved Kyle on back to attack. What was what was the thinking on doing that? Um, felt like just a veteran guy, um, you know, a guy that's been around. Um, you know, Murph, uh, you know, we've been kind of playing him at midfield, playing him at attack. So we felt like maybe putting him down there. Um, Kyle played high school, attack in high school. So thought maybe that might be good, you know, just to have like a, a guy that's been around, played a lot of meaningful minutes. Uh, and as much as well as Murph has played, uh, especially last year for us, um, Kyle's just been around a little bit longer, thought maybe that presence would help us. Since 1991, Viron Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the DC metro area and around the globe. Use Viron Forgates for your next IT project. Great products, on point tech support, projects that run on time. These are some of the reasons that customers love Viner Forgates. We make your company work. For your next IT project, call Viner Four Gates at 301 251 2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. Do you know what's the situation with your goalie? I uh, don't know. Um, I know he, um, he kind of came out um, and then we subbed Teddy Dolan in, uh, and Teddy's done a really good job so far this year. Um, and Anthony mentioned that something was, was up with him and he was getting checked out. Uh, we'll find out more though, for sure. Uh, so, what, what led to the timeout to start the third quarter? Oh, so the, basically the rules in lacrosse are if you don't use both your timeouts in the first half, um, you could use it coming out of the third and it's not one of your two allotted for the second half. So. Uh, that's a, a rule that a lot of people just don't know. So we were in there a little bit longer trying to go over some things. Um, and we we're just like, all right, well, we have it to use. Um, and you you don't lose it for the second half, you, but you, if you carry it into halftime, you can have a little bit longer second, or a little longer halftime. You've got to go over changes and adjustments and things like that. So we figured we'd use it. Sorry, I might have missed this. It was a little late coming in. But can you talk about the crowd and the atmosphere on the field today? Yeah, I thought the crowd was great. Uh, it's something we talked about all week. Um, it's a great place to play. It's an awesome venue. Um, I think it's one of the best venues out there. Um, and we knew it would be a tough environment. Their fans are terrific uh, and, and really energetic, but very respectful um, and very just a very classy group. Um, and if I'm a, a Loyola guy, it's probably a fun group to play in front of. So I know we love our fans as well. Um, but again, just a, a fun atmosphere. And, and not surprised Loyola's had a great program for a long time. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. Yeah, Coach, uh, in the fourth quarter, you went to a 10-minute ride, and it was very successful. Uh, you think you caught him more by shock, or is it your depth that helps you in that kind of situation? 
I think at that point you're trying to speed up the game um, and you know, you try to shake things up, maybe create some unsettled situations. Um, so that's kind of what we decided to do was, hey, we, we, you know, let's maybe make this game a little bit more of a frantic, scrambled game. And if that happens, maybe we can get some unsettled opportunities. Um, I thought our guys did a good job with it. We practiced it a lot. Um, we haven't used it a ton historically, but we always practice it. And, and I thought the guys did a good job with it. It's hard uh, being on the other side of it. Um, it's early season, um, so it can be hard to, to get the ball up and out. And I felt like they did a better job towards the end of navigating it, uh, which I'm not surprised about. Brett, have you ever seen a goalie attack a 10-man ride like Logan did today? No. He's I mean, not. he put his life on the line every play. Yeah, he's got the Energizer Bunny in him for sure. Uh, you know, he's a sneaky good athlete, so I'm not surprised he was able to pick up a couple ground balls and make some plays off of it. Uh, this is for coach for Brett. Um, the first goal of the fourth quarter, when they scooped up the ground ball and scored in transition, it then seemed to spiral out of control with the three more goals in the span of four minutes. What, what kind of led to that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's just hard, you know, in that second half, like coach mentioned. I uh, got a couple back, thought we were going to get over that hump and kind of, you know, roll a little bit, get some momentum going. Uh, and then they kind of just were able to get a couple in transition, uh, a couple energy goals for them. Uh, and it was kind of just tough for us to bounce back, but like I said, uh, I think we got a great group in that locker room, and I know it's going to eat at these guys. Uh, there's a lot left to play for, and we'll be back to work on Monday.